Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are outside the gates of Orzammar, the Dwarven Kingdom, one of the Dwarven Kingdoms actually. And it seems that we have gained uh, authorization to enter because the dwarves aren't letting anyone enter as their uh, king died and the dwarves have yet to decide a uh, successor. But before we talk to the guard and uh, enter the city, let's just take a small, a short look at the uh, codex entrances. We have creatures, dragonlings. Newly hatched dragons are roughly the size of a deer and uh, voraciously hungry. They live for a short time in their mother's lair before venturing out on their own. The slender, wingless creatures are born in vast numbers as only a few ever make it to adulthood. Right? The uh, pride demon, what else? The revenant, it's the tough guy that killed us in the uh, Tower of the Magi. Lithony of Andrava. Yuseris, the dragon slayer. This is the two handed sword we've recovered in the uh, Magi's Tower. Seems to have a story. The legend of the blade Usaris predates Andraste, the sword that Dane found in the dragon's treasure hoard, which he used to slay both Fenshal and the werewolf, was passed to his son uh, Hafter. Dane uh, may have been fiction, but Hafter was in fact in 140 divine. Uh, he led the Alamari tribes against the darkspawn that flooded into the into the Ferelden Valley from the Dwarven lands. He not only drove back the horde, he also then defeated the combined forces of the Avars and the Chasind, who hoped to take advantage advantage of the chaos. His victories entered him earned him sorry <laughs> such respect from the tribes. He was named the first Tyrn. Okay. After years of ruling the valley in peace, it is said that Hefter left for Eldon sailing into the unknown east of the Amaranthine Ocean, with the blade still in hand, never to be seen again. So, does that mean that the creature that we fought in the temple, not the temple, the Tower of the Magi, was actually this guy? Transformed into an abomination? I don't know. Alright. Let's see what else. <clears throat> the Black City, I think we've read part of this. History of the Circle. The Harrowing. Among apprentices of the Circle, nothing is regarded with more fear than the Harrowing. A little is known about this rite of passage, and that alone would uh, be cause for dread. But it is well understood that only those apprentices who pass the trial are ever seen again. They return as full members of the Circle of Magi. Of those who fail, nothing is known. I can tell you what happens to them. They are killed by uh, Templars because they uh, have either been possessed by uh, demons or are suspected of being possessed by demons. And secondly, uh, no actually. Tranquils are not made from those who did not pass the harrowing, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's continue reading. <clears throat> okay, perhaps they are killed on the spot, as I told you. I heard one uh, patently ridiculous humor among the circle of Revain, which claimed that uh, failed apprentices were transformed into pigs, <laughs> fattened up and served at dinner, that, that's gross, to the senior enchanters. But I could uh, find no evidence that the uh, Revain Circle ate any particular quantity of pork. Yeah, I doubt. I highly doubt it. Maleficarum, these are the uh, uh, mages that made uh, pacts with demons. Cardinal Rules of Magic, Creation, Anthropy, Primal, Spirit, The Veil. Hmm. I detest this notion that the veil is some manner of invisible curtain that separates the world of the living from the world of the spirits. Whether it be called the fate or the beyond is a matter of racial politics. I refuse to indulge in a moment 
in at the moment. Uh, there is no this side and that side when it comes to the veil. One cannot think of it as a physical thing or a barrier or even a shimmering wall of holy light. Thank you very much for that image, your perfection. <laughs> think of the veil instead as opening one's eyes. Before you open them, you saw our world as you see it now, static, solid, unchanging. Now that they are open, you see our world as the spirits see it, chaotic, ever-changing, a realm where the imagined and the remembered have as much substance as uh, that which is real more, which is real, more in fact. A spirit sees everything as uh, defined by will and memory, and this is why they are so very lost when they cross the veil. In our world, imagination has no substance. Objects exist independently of how we remember them or what emotion we associate with them. Mages alone possess the power to change the world with their minds, and perhaps this forms the nature of a demon's attraction to them. You can say. Regardless, the fact of passing through the veil is much more about changing one's perception than a physical transition. The veil is an idea. It is the act of transition itself, and it is only the fact that both living beings and spirits find the transition difficult that gives the veil any credence as a physical barrier at all. Okay. Characters. What characters? King Endrin Aidukan. This is the uh, Dwarven King that died. First Enchanter Irving, we know him. Liliana, we love her. Loghain Mactir, the trader, let's call him that. Win, our uh, resident healer and buffer. And Zevran, the Crow's assassin that has joined our little party. Legend of Kalanhad, chapter 2. Where's chapter 1? I don't see it. When we get chapter 1, we'll read chapter 2 as well. What is this? The Black Vials. Yeah, we know. We broke one and uh, the thing that appeared broke us. Then we broke him, of course. Uh, friends of Red Jenny, the task was never promised to be easy. You said you could enter the Circle Tower and you were believed. Find the small painted box in the first Enchanter Irving's office and deliver it to the door marked in Denrim as agreed, or be prepared to find yourself hunted across Ferelden. We found that, and we actually have a quest to deliver it to Ferelden. To Ferelden, to Denrim, sorry. Watch Guard of the Reaching. This is the quest uh, at the end of which we received Eucerys, I think. Yep. Good. Good, 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 good. Now we are. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, these are completed quests. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Blight. Yep. A Paragon of Her Kind is the quest we are doing right now. So, without further ado, let's make a quick save and talk to the guard again. You've done me a service. That fool Imrek was barking for a week. Are all humans so touched? You are <laughs> free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. I'm hopeful. Think positive. New quest. Seek out to... Ah! Let's see. Orzammar. The Blight. The gates of Orzammar are open to you, but King Endrin has died. And the Deshirs, the Dwarven Lords, have been unable to choose a successor. To gain their aid, the deadlock in the assembly must end. Right. Orzammar, let's make this active. The leadership of Orzammar is in chaos. Addressing the assembly seems like the likely place to start looking for a solution. The chamber of the assembly is in the Diamond Quarter. Alright. Ooh, look at this place. So many targets. I mean, uh, dwarves. Follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. I know. Our journeys, Warden. Those statues are dwarven paragons, if I remember right. The best of their ancestors. 
Okay. Hello. They say the darkspawn have left for the surface. Yes, they have. Show some pity for a poor old man. Oh, hello. I haven't eaten in days. How can I? Bread, please, sir. I'm Mr. trying to, but you won't I talk to me. I haven't eaten in days. Should I be a heartless son of a bitch and rob this poor beggar? Oh, come on. Let's not do that. Seriously. I know it's a game, but come on. The Paragons. A new codex entry. Paragon Ortan. Explanation. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branka, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, mother. What? What? Please let me rob you. <sighs> Very well. Explanation. Paragon Garal. A dwarven scholar. Hello, sir. Are your pockets lined? It shall be done. Ooh. Show respect, surfacer. You're in the Hall of Heroes, home to the best of us. Okay. The figures are quite grand indeed. Paragons, dwarves who achieve such greatness, they're considered ancestors, even if they yet walk among us. Mm -hmm. If only we had one now. A unifier. A voice like that, there would be no dissension. Hmm, perhaps I can help? Perhaps I don't want you to. A surfacer should not see us in this kind of disarray. Goodbye. Too late, my friend. I hope you're not needed. Oh, I think I'm needed. Paragon. Okay, I uh, miss her name. Did I miss anything else? It is sometimes so hard to believe that you have been through so much at such a young age. I think I look younger than I am. Yes, yes, that is possible. When I was your age, I was just about ready to take on my first apprentice. In hindsight, <laughs> perhaps I should have waited a few more years. I was arrogant, my confidence bolstered by my youth. <laughs> it is so hard to imagine seeing you now. Oh, I've had some two decades or so to grow mellow. Believe me, back then I was quite prickly. So prickly? you are like a fine wine, <laughs> yes? Losing the raw edges over time. I suppose there is some truth to that analogy, but dear maker, I do hate being compared to wine. Or cheese. <laughs> Especially cheese. So do I. Old cheese. Yeah. Commission report. The key to the city. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, examine. Culture and history. The paragons. Oh boy. Let's leave that for later. <laughs> it's too much of a read. Quest related. All right. While your concern have concerns have merit, the assembly has made itself clear. Space within the thigh is at a premium, but the intended function of the hall merits the additional resources committed. The statues of the paragons must be the core of the hall of heroes. There is no other placement that so benefits Dwarven interests. It is the first glimpse that surface ambassadors have of Orzammar, an introduction not just to our living ancestors, but also to the stone from which we were born. They must see it shaped before they can understand the complexity of its raw form. The hall must also serve as a sec must also serve a second purpose, as a last sight of the departing brethren. Those who choose to leave must do so with the heavy gaze of their ancestors at their backs. It is a reminder of duty and of consequence. We will promote all manner of trade, but also reinforce that those who live for too long will return as strangers to the stone. What's this have to do with uh, a quest? I don't see a quest there yet. Perhaps finding more such info might actually trigger the quest. Who knows? So this is it. Is this the entire hole? Yes, it is. Let's go inside then. Come on. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, good old Orzammar. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, oh, someone tries this using the assembly. Incredible bastard again. What my father said in his final hours. I really, Aaron really hate this guy. Balan is his name. I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balan incite a riot. You not speak that way about the man who should be king! Yeah, I really hate Balon. If you wanna know why, <laughs> just watch my uh, Dwarven Noble Origin videos, there are two parts. And you, I bet that you will hate that guy as well. Ah, signpost. Proving ground straight ahead, okay? Let's talk to the captain of the guard, but as before we do, let's, uh, <laughs> you know, welcome him. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the Vieta, dwarf. Keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. And you shall have it. The blight is coming and we need Orzammar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Hmm. Sounds like Balin and Aromont are the ones to talk to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Hmm, you mentioned paragons. Surfacers appoint <clears throat> their paragons? No, we do not. Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are <laughs> the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Okay, I will. Can a city function like this? See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there, sort this all out in a hurry. That's a solution. Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Okay, know okay, you've said that already. The, it, the true bright spot in the... Yes, yeah, yeah. you should. Okay. Varta Gavorn. Oh, and Dulin Forender. Alright. So what? Let's... Wow. Uh... So this is Ozama. Yes, it is. It's you. I'm glad you agree. It is begun. The city of Orzammar. Narav. Hello. Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. This Balan is the king's. Is that King Endrin's son? Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. Hmm. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. <clears throat> what do you know about this Lord Harrowmont? Lord Harrowmont should be our king. He was King Endrin's closest advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcome him, asked the assembly to endorse Harrowmont. Hmm. Okay. Why such hate for Balan? Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. <laughs> and many question whether Endrin died abed, as we were told, or whether Balan helped him along. That we do not know. Uh, is Harrowmont qualified to rule? He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. Okay. Who are you? I am Narav Helmi, 
third daughter of the second matron of House Helmy. And you, stranger, what brings you to Orzammar at such a time? Well, I am TJ, a Grey Warden, and I am here seeking aid. A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you mean? <laughs> Armies. <laughs> Uh, who has the authority to defend against a blight? A blight? Now? But our warriors are killing each other in the streets. I'm like sorry, idiots. Stranger, I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. Oh. If you seek Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferender. I will. He might be able to get you an audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You've been most helpful. And this guy is going to help us as well, be done. whether he wants it or not. See, he helped us. He donated 8 silver and 59 coppers to the cause. What's this? It's a store. Oh, I cannot open the door. Let's check the map. Oh boy. Yes. It's much larger than I remember. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. This is me. Okay. What's this? Figures Imports. Alright. Diamond Quarter. Oh, I'm in the commons. Okay. Gem Merchant and Dagna. And also Deep Roads over there. Proving Grounds. This is the Hall of the Heroes I came from. Janar Armorers. Nice. Filda. It's another quest, I guess. Tapster's Tavern. Good. Brother Burkle. Okay. Dust Town. And General Goods mer Merchant. Well, let's uh, head this way, check things out, then go back, check this area, and uh, we'll see. We'll see whether we go to Dust Town, the Proving Grounds, uh, or the... not the Deep Roads, I don't think we can actually enter the Deep Roads, but uh, go to the Diamond Quarter. Hello. One day the Paragon Branca will return. Very well. Oh, and on that day... Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Hello. I miss old Indran. He was a good man. What happens if the assembly never picks a king? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to get rich. No, no, no. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Please stick around. Stick around. Look at these amazing products. Okay. Good, good, Shall good, good, we good. done? Check that cheese out. Nice. Another commoner. Nice shields, huh? Keep looking at them. Check them out carefully. That's a good dwarf. Good dwarf. Oh, right, Dagna is there. Nug Wrangler Bermore. Bormore. Yeah. Hello. I, I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. What? I'll never find them the way they skitter. Common nugs? I don't like those. They look dirty. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. I guess I'm shutting it down. Uh, are these uh, things dangerous? You gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. <laughs> okay, if I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. On you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Oh, good. A lost nug. Okay, okay, okay. We can do that. We can uh, search for nugs. While we're here, why not? Nothing over here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I forgot to. Nothing to steal. Uh, excuse me. I, um, do you have a moment? I may have. You just have to wait, madam. I am in the middle of something very important for uh, my well being. That's a merchant. Please wait, ma'am. Please wait. Have patience. Good. I'll come back to you, ma'am. Don't worry. Don't the worry. Deep roads are home to the darkspawn now. Oh, there's a nug. Oddly, they're supposed to be safer to travel during a blight. A shaper's life. Okay. Hello, nug. You wrangle the nug into a box ready for delivery. Ha! That's nice. Uh, ooh. 
so many, so many targets. Let's talk to the mines commander, although I have a feeling he will not let us What's proceed. This? A human? Can we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? <laughs> Sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. Okay. And I've heard nothing front lines. of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. Are you fighting the darkspawn in the tunnels? Uh, what I'm doing here is none of your business, no. Why do you need patrols? Don't let the comm fool you. The dark spawn are down there. Yeah, I knew that. Commander. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Hmm. Actually, they made their move on the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except to... Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. It is happening, guys. Are dark spawn the only danger in these tunnels? Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. I don't fear those. Deep Ugly stalkers? Beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Mm hmm. Are there any other dwarves past this point? A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. Mm hmm. Okay. What's the Legion of the Dead? It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes <laughs> or sanity. Hmm. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Oh, I can understand the naming then. Okay, I should I, go. Thank you. For your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Somehow, I have a feeling I will have a reason to. Just can't get enough of our clammy mind. Yes, air, I know, you? I know. I'm not trying to I... go there. I'm just trying to rob someone else. Will you please allow me to rob someone else? Just can't nope. get enough of our clammy mind air, can you? I should go. Okay, I'm not able to rob that guy. Let's go back to Miss. Uh... What's his name? Dagna. Give her the same treatment. Good. Go back to this guy. Go on. I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. Oh? <laughs> you do have. I've got a nug for you here. Okay. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude. But find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. Okay. Okay. Completed quest. Whoa. Okay. But he said that if I find more, I should take them. To him, let's go and talk to the uh, store owner first, okay? Greetings and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Okay. Wow, there are a lot of you, and I've yes. never seen one of those before. One of what? The things they come up with. What was I saying? What are you talking about? Uh. Okay. Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad vein. Okay. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Oh. Except when... I'm sorry to hear that. Then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. Okay, I will. Thank you. Oh, another one of these. The Rose Thorn, made out of dragon bone. A dagger. Plus 2 dexterity, 1 health regeneration in combat, plus 3 damage, 5 melee critical chance. Oh my god! 30 critical backstab damage. This is amazing! <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. Nothing. Dwarven heavy boots, red steel. Hmm, okay. You know what? I'm tired of keeping this with me. The Imperium crossbow. I'm going to sell it. I don't need it. I don't use crossbows. Life giver. Oh my goodness. This is expensive. Plus 10 to constitution. This would be amazing. On one of my fingers. As my constitution is low and my health pull as well health regeneration in combat health regeneration while exploring 
plus three armor, twenty percent of to healing effects receive. This is great. I can't buy it, unfortunately. Warden Wildstone, Sailors, Buckle of the Wind, Iron Ring. I can sell. Fluorospar, I can sell. Wolf Pelts. I'm still keeping them. I still haven't checked these. Uh, what's all the. Uh, what's with the bad luck charm? What to do with it? I could set. What's this? A gemmed bracelet. Wait, 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 wait. Golden mirror. I bet you this is for Morrigan. And it's cheap as well. I'm buying it. Come on. Gold amulet. Gemmed bracelet. You know what? Let's buy all of these gifts. Right, and sell these and that and that's it I haven't checked does this guy have uh, any inventory inspect expansion uh, stuff no he does not okay now let's talk to Dagna Dagna yeah first let's make a quick save you look like you're not from around here because I'm not I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. Have you? I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Of Meiji? Of course I have. I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. What? I want to know if Why? you would accept me for study. Uh, excuse me? Uh... Dwarfs can't do magic exactly. You want to leave Orzammar? I want to go to the Circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No oh. dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. Okay. Okay, let's be, let's be greedy a bit. And uh, what would the messenger uh, get? What do you mean? Oh, you're looking for payment. I am. My father's shop refines lyrium for smithing. Oh. If you help me, I'm sure I could get you some. Good, good, good. Then I will uh, talk to the first enchanter next time I see him. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. <laughs> Did you know <laughs> She's so eager. Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? No. She's so enthusiastic and yeah. adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. Why not? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Oh, I do hope I won't give her a... Uh... Oh, would you look at that? Win approves, Lili Liliana approves. Someone got a buff. I don't know who. I think I think it was Win, actually. Okay, we have a new quest called An Unlikely Scholar. You met a young dwarven woman named Dagna, whose biggest wish is to study magic at the Circle of Magi. Even though dwarves are incapable of doing magic, she wants to study its theory. You agreed to get to go to the circle to ask them if Dagna can study there. I hope they answer positively. What is this? It's about nugs. Okay. Is an omnivore common to the deep roads, a hairless creature that is almost blind as well as completely docile. It spends most of its time uh, wading in the shadow pools as well as mud pits, feeding on small insects, worms and, in a pinch, limestone and simple metals. Indeed, the digestive system of the Nag is legendary, able to make a metal out of most anything. A meal, sorry. <laughs> out of most anything a Nag finds on the cavern floors. Nugs reprodu reproduce rapidly, spreading into any niche within the deep roads they can find, and serve to support a variety of predators such as giant spiders and deep stalkers. So, too, do dwarves make meals out of them. Nugs are, in the poorer slum portion of Orzammar, one of the most common sources of meat available. Available. Some dwarves, even though... Uh, dwarves. Jesus. Dwarves. Even though domesticate the creatures, claiming to find the creature high-pitched squeaks pleasing. Oh, they squeak, do they? Okay. 
In the city of Orzammar. Let's not read that. <laughs> Balen Aidukan. Third King's Aidukan. Third King Endrin's children. Balen. Ah, was always been considered the last and least of his family, and I. Oh, I know why. Oh, okay. Lord Piral Harumont. House Harumont is one of the oldest noble houses as old as Orzammar itself. Indeed, it is. Quest related again. The Shaper's Life. Orzammar has carved a legacy from the stone, but history is more than the comings and goings that fill the streets. These caverns are old cuts and well traveled. Okay. The true will of the stone is revealed far from the halls of politics and commerce. The shaper must step away from the familiar and seek out revelations from the frontier or build or buried secrets from paths abandoned. The shaper must first walk away if he is to return. Okay, no idea what this quest will be about. Oh! Wait, I remembered. Yes, 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 yes. Do you see anything interesting? No? Okay. I thought he might. Oh, another nug! Are you kidding me? Let's take it to the guy. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Okay, okay. If you say so. No, we've checked that part of Orzammar. Now let's go this way. And do that. Oh, this is Dagna. Okay, so Dagna sits right... Ah, this must be her father's shop, actually. She did say she's the daughter of the... Uh, of a smith. Ancestors guard my son. Oh, another nug! We'll talk to that woman again. I'm actually going to the, back to the Wrangler to give him the Nug. I have no clue how many of them we must find. I'm hoping not many. You're the best Wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Okay, so, so far we found three, including the first one. So, two after the first one. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's uh, do that. And enter the shop and check out the shop. Have we missed any shop here? No, that's the diamond quarter and the in figure imports is closed. Let's get inside and check our surroundings. Oh, wall carving. Hello. It is begun. Life in Orzammar. Good. I shall do it. Stealing success. Let's see what this guy has. Welcome to Jan R Family Armors. Hello. I must say, you look like our type of people. I do. Looking for a new set of mail. We do. At Jan R's, we have everything from leather to platinum. Platinum. Platinum armor? Are you kidding me? You know anything about what's happening with the king? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Oh. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, <laughs> I cannot object. So you're undecided. I get it. Are you part of the smith cast? I, for a hundred generations. My father made his name by inventing a fall and tacit, which were integrated into the cuirass. Hmm. But, uh, I'm guessing by your face, you're not a smith yourself. No, I'm not. Do you have a daughter named Dagna? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface stink, and she's like a cave tick. Huh. I won't let go. Should I tell him that she wants to become a mage? I don't think I want to tell him. He may object. No, I won't tell him. Oh, good. 
Well, let me know if she does trouble you any. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, just let me see what you have in store. Now keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Dwarven, dwarven, dwarven. Nah, nothing of interest. Rock knocker. Okay. This has. Uh, this might be a unique item. I don't know. It is priced accordingly. <laughs> oh, silverite. Wow. Okay. What else? Nothing else. Okay, sir. Hey, why do I? Why do you have a, a sign above your head? Oh, it's because I can tell him that his daughter wants to become a mage. I don't it's want begun. to tell him that. I really want this girl to be accepted in the academy. In the academy by the mages, so that she can study. I like her enthusiasm. Alright, let's not talk to that woman just yet. Have we robbed this guy? Uh, nope, we have not. What is that smell? Dwarven vomit. Oh boy. Charming. It's the tavern. Okay. Nothing to steal. Oh, that's the guy. Oh, another nug! And another guy who has a quest for us. Ooh, there are plenty of these guys wool carving again. The casts. Okay. Let's rob this guy. Document. There's a document on the bridge leading to the proving. Hmm. Stealing success again. Who have I not robbed? This guy and the brother. Okay. Let's rob this guy. Nice. And I have not yet robbed brother... Uh, what's his name? Burkle. Good. And now let's talk to this woman right here. Filda. Let's quick save before we do. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Oh, no. Although I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. No, they do not. They reside, if they buried them, in the dirt, not in the stone. Who are you? My name is Vilda, widow of Turak of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. Okay, what happened to him? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Oh boy. Do you want me to go look for him? How? There is no way except to brave the Deep Roads yourself. I am a Grey Warden, you know. That's what I do. Warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Yeah. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. I am so happy that I kept Wynne in the party and not Morrigan. She would have most likely objected to helping this poor woman. I really hate her attitude. She is a very talented mage, but sometimes she can be a real bitch. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's talk to the uh, shop owner. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Mm -hmm. Calm people down. Mm -hmm. Make them think we should open the gates for good. Okay. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balan stands for. Okay. Your allegiance to Balan is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. Okay. He's the traditional pick. Yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Hmm, some say he killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons, and 
the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. Hmm, that seems fair. Okay, let's not antagonize him by saying that he approves of this chaos. Let's see what you have I'll in take store. Your gold. You're good for that. All right. Let's see. Dagger, dwarven. Yeah. Quicksilver arming cap. Plus two to cunning. Hmm, that's nice. Tome of the Immortal Vessel. Golden symbol of Andraste. Okay. Okay. This is for Leliana. Remarkable sapphire. I have no idea. But it's expensive. This is not. I'm got buying this one, that one, this one and these. I'm not buying this one, though. Not until I know who I should give this. Huh. Interesting. Still no one sells an uh, inventory booster item. Which is a shame. Let's talk to Brother Burkle. Maker's blessing on you, brother. Hello. Oh, I didn't think dwarves believed in the Maker. Since we have Liliana with us, let's uh, indulge this guy. May his divine spirit always light your way. Ah, it's a great pleasure to meet a fellow believer. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. A dwarf who believes in the maker. Open a wow. chantry in Orzammar. Whose permission do you need to open a chantry? The shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. Okay. I need the shaper of memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Okay. What's the shaper of memories? The shaper of memories controls the shaper it, Orzammar's record system. Oh, like the archives. The chantry's historians, but but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city, every property sale, death in battle marriage or divorce uh -huh. okay do you want me to talk to him for you oh I'd hoped you'd say that <laughs> I'm sure you I did see the maker's hand on your shoulder right always. Mm -hmm. if this chantry could help just one person as much as it helped me it's worth any trouble I know Please let me know as I knew you're going to say that I knew you're going to love you see plus two approval rating that's why I uh, went for that uh, dialogue option okay we've checked everything besides the tapster tavern and the proving grounds the proving grounds are on a different map actually a different section so what I'm going to do I'm going to check out that document on the bridge over there and there's another nug Alistair, you look at what's that? this? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? Oh, boy. maybe it likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. Anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched. <laughs> <in> it. Oh, <laughs> uh, part of Templar training back at the Chantry. The men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. Anyway, uh. um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. A change will be nice. You're going to put it on? It's filthy. And dry. We're not exactly traveling in the lap uh, of luxury here. What hideous habits you've picked up. Indeed. Indeed. And there's another nug. Let's check this document. I shall do. On Dwarven property. Okay. Have I? Yes. Huh? Have I really? No, I have not. This is the proving ground, we won't be going there. Not in this episode. I mean. And now before we end this one guys, let's go back to the Nog Wrangler. You're the best Wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. You're the best Wrangler I've ever seen. Okay. But there's more out there. I trust Vala, my nut wrangling friend. Okay, how many did I give to him? Five? Is it five? I've lost count, unfortunately. Have you seen my lunch? Uh, it, it's a piece of lichen bread with a spread of old cheese and oh. shredded dried meat. 
I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because you never know who's gonna get hungry. No, I have not seen your lunch. Okay. <laughs> Best in the trade, you know. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> All right. That guy scares me. Elixir of grounding, novice, novice silverite. Ooh, damage against dark spawn. That's nice. Okay, guys, let's go back to the uh, center of the area. This is where we'll uh, end this episode. But before we do, let's just make a quick save and uh, give Liliana the. Uh... Where is it? Oh, she's hurt! How did I not see that? Lesser injury kit. Okay. Uh, right. Let's give her the. Uh... Golden symbol of Andraste. She's at 48 and interested. I'm sure we'll get her more interested. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Good. Her cunning has improved. Plus 8. That's not bad. Alright, what other gifts do we have on us? Flagon. Huh. Golden Mirror. I think this one's for uh, Morrigan. Do you remember when she told us that she found a mirror and... Uh, she stole a mirror, actually, not found. And when she went back to Flemeth, Flemeth uh, took it away and smashed it. Mm. Okay, Silver Demon Head Ring. No idea. Who should I give this? Gemmed bracelet. Okay, that's enough. We're stopping. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope to see you tomorrow for a brand new one. If you enjoyed it, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to help it grow and also help me. If you did not like it, the dislike button is right there. Leave a comment if you have anything to say with regards to Dragon Age Origins. And I hope to see you tomorrow.